welcome to a thrift flip, guys. So let's go. So I saw a bunch of things online that I really liked. And I fell instantly in love with it. And oh boy, I wanted it so, so bad. So I go to buy it and $600? And it went like this. I was shocked, in denial, feeling guilty. I was depressed, I was bargaining, I was straight angry and finally, finally, I was not over it. So here is a maybe sad video of me trying to replace lost love with thrifted clothing. My name is Kyoko's Closet. Don't worry, just subscribe, please. And welcome to a clothing transformation. So, let's go. So I got this. Nice. Am I right? Nope. And this one. If I can make this look good, I think even I will like my own video. <laughs> and everything flipped today was purchased from ThreadUp, an online thrift store. Outfit of the war. Yes, these are all going to be tops. So let's start with something easy. A top that is not even a top, but is more a bra. For this, we are going to need to make two pieces. The bandana piece, which is two-sided, a zip, and some strings. You can either steal them off any other piece of clothing, or we are gonna make it. First things first, let's cut your shirt along the <laughs> seams so we have perfect strips of fabric. Okay, I know I gotta pick that up. Second thing second, grab a bandana. Hopefully you have one. If not, use a scarf. Merge it on your body, pin it, and use that to indicate the shape. After drawing the shape perfectly, we are going to draw the shape again. One centimeter out, and another again. Trust me on this. Cut following the outside marks. Grab your inside fabric, sketch the same shape. Bam. All right. Whip it onto your ironing machine. And we are going to iron over those inside lines. Just to make it easier. Hmm. I love easier. Lay them on top of each other. Little flips on the inside. Pin them, and now stitch a line across the hand. Oof. One sec. Bam wham. Now the other pieces. Now sew them together. Like this. And don't forget to add the zipper to the side, which I did. So for those of you that don't know zippers, speed round. Put it on the inside like this. Pin it. Sew it. Next screw this. So after measuring over my shoulder, I pretty much cut out a bunch of even looking noodle straps. I will be doing 8.5 inches and a little bit extra for the fit. Fold them in half and in like lips, sew over the edges, and sew them onto the back and the front like straps. And this is how it turned out. So let's go. And digging this fabric. <coughs> Seems pretty easy, right? So we are going to, um, hmm, hmm. I don't know, man. So this is my best attempt at preserving fabric. So we'll cut up the sleeves and we'll use the strings for later. But for now, we have this. And I trimmed it up a little, cutting a line across the top of the shirt. Popped my head through. And now I'm just assessing the length of the bra. And we forgot the inside material. Cut, pin, so pretty easy. Now guys, we've done this before, let's do it again. The strings. Now we are going to find your length. Pin it, drop it down, cut, pin again. Whoa, it's a hem. <laughs> then find the length you like for the back. Repeat, so, and finally, hand stitch the straps on and hand stitch together the shoulders and we have it. Let's go. Top number three, guys. It's kind of a merged idea. I like this idea and this idea. And I have checkered pants too that I can match. You guessed it, we're also going to need some string and elastic. So I'm just gonna start by cutting these fabrics apart along the seams. The next step is to allocate fabric for different pieces. Two chest pieces for left arm, back piece for the right arm, and one sleeve for the top. So let's just skip the strings because there's more. And you know how to do this, right? Unless you don't, because you skipped half this video. <laughs> I'm kidding. 
I can't track you down, so you're safe. Now with the four pieces of strings, we are gonna grab our sleeve and attach like this. Okay, as you can see, I've kind of got a good thing already going. But this and this and this, all needs pinning. Leave an extra inch on the sides and create an identical piece for the inside of the fabric. And subscribe! That is always the hardest part of the video. Now attach the strings in the right spot. Do some crisscrossing magic. Next, we hem along the edges. The puffy sleeves. So we left a lot of fabric for this part. So my arm is about this long, but you almost want to double it to really give it that zhuzh. Fold over, cut off any excess fabric, repeat. I you know the buttons on the side is kind of messy, but regurgitation, baby. Pin together, sew over the edges, then hem over the top of the sleeve. Done. Grab that elastic, measure it out, measure around your arm until your fat really pops out. Pin it, just to make it easier to attach the elastic. Pull it, attach midway, and then attach full way with pins. I'm gonna show you how to do this. Double check it fits. Yay! And we're gonna pull the fabric and sew over it. Should look a little like this. Buttons! Don't use these ones. They suck. And then there was the cropped hem, and then it was done! Thank you for watching to the end of this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. I love hearing from all of you. Seriously makes my day. As well, don't forget to like it if you liked it. If you didn't, then dislike it. And if you had fun, remember to subscribe because next week is going to be a good one. I hope. <laughs>